Hi everyone. Are you feeling a, a bit discouraged today? Are you feeling like 2021 hasn't been the shot of life that so many thought it would be? It's been a rough few weeks already and I'd like to give you then a bit of encouragement, a daily dose of encouragement, because if you're like me, there's a lot of discouraging news out there. With cases of COVID surging here in Arizona, unlike anything we've seen before, that's pretty discouraging. Not to mention the attacks in our nation's capital and, and the divisions that have become so entrenched in our nation. I can see why it's easy to be a bit cynical and skeptical and discouraged. It's easy to feel like you're all alone in all of this. But my friends, let's not let the bad news sour the greatest news the world has ever heard. Let's not forget the good news of great joy that has been proclaimed to all people. Let the good news that, that a Savior from sin and from death came into this world and gave his life so that eternal life is ours. Let's not let the evil and the doubts and the worries of the day discourage us or keep us from doing good and serving all people no matter what. Because what a perfect time it is to, to let others know that there is something better out there. What an opportunity to point people to a God who loves all people. And just because the days are dark, it doesn't mean that we need to let that dim our light or, or keep us from sharing the good news. Because God is still in heaven. He's watching over us. His grace is still overflowing. His forgiveness, it knows no bounds. And that's what drives us. To go out there and show love and mercy and forgiveness to all people, even if they might disagree with us or hate us or, or even threaten us. Because, my friends, that's what makes us different. While we live in this world, we know what comes next. We're looking ahead to the day when God will come back. And while we wait for that day, well, we have our brothers and our sisters in Christ. We have our God to support and encourage us in difficult days. And while many of us can't be physically together at this time, I'd encourage you to reach out to your brothers and sisters in Christ. Give them a call, send them a card, and, and especially never stop praying for them. Because we'll get through this. And hopefully soon we'll all be able to join together in person to worship and to encourage each other. And so today, a reading from Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 through 25. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. I'd invite you to join us this Sunday as we look at the special calling of Samuel and the calling that we have to serve our God and each other. We will also resume our Revelation Bible study in between the services. Now both the services and the Bible study will continue to be streamed live for those who can't join us in person this week. Friends, encourage each other and share the good news that we have a Savior who has given us eternal life. Invite your friends, your family, and, and your neighbors to watch our services or online or, or join us in person. Because there are so many people out there right now living without the hope and the peace that you have. So let them know of the certain hope that you have that changes everything. See you again soon.